All right, everyone. Uh, welcome to CyberNow's uh, success uh, series. Uh, my name is Hassan. I'm the co-founder of CyberNow Labs. And today I have Idris uh, with me. He is going to share some of his experience um, uh, with CyberNow Labs uh, with us. Uh, I want to dive right into the topic. Uh, Idris, can you briefly tell us about yourself, your background? Of course. Um... Before getting into cyber, I was a uh, nurse full-time at a family practice in Burke. Um, was there for about eight, 80 years, um, spent some good time. Um, while I was there, I did a lot of their IT uh, work. And I've kind of had a good history of IT. Um, so I kind of you know, pursued cybersecurity. I've, I've kind of liked the cyber field, the hacking and all that. Um, and you know, I, I took the course and, and here I am now as a cybersecurity analyst. Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, to be clear, you didn't have any cyber experience prior to joining to the course, right? None. Just uh, just YouTube right. videos of you know how to fix computers and whatnot. <laughs> but that's it. So you were kind of the, uh, kind of that go-to guy uh, whenever something breaks related yep. to IT. Uh, nice, nice. Um, can you tell me? Uh, you've taken the you were uh, in cohort three, which ended yep. back in December 2019. Uh, when you look back, um, I guess, can you tell me one of the things that you liked about uh, the course, the training itself? Uh, the main thing I would probably say is the, the hands-on part of the course. Um, the To be in an actual uh, SOC, a security operations center, and to use the, you know, the uh, security tools that you guys offer. Um, I think that really stood out to everything else that's offered in the area um, to be able to do what I'm doing now um, really helped with my current job. Um, all the tools, just training, the hands-on, especially not you know just a week. It's um, full four to six weeks, I think it was that we did hands-on, which which really helped. And you guys have mentors that are that are available if we have questions. So I I think the hands-on uh, part was definitely my favorite. And for those of you who don't know, those tools are basically the same tools that you would see uh, if you were to start working at Capital One SOC or Cisco SOC or Perspective SOC, nothing different. We use the same exact uh, tool set enterprise level um, from QADR to Splunk to uh, FireEye, um, EDR to um, uh, ticket incident response, ticket management solutions, the Hive um, and so on. Um, even topics like threat hunting is, is covered and <clears throat> That's one of the things that um, I think number one thing that kind of differentiates us, the training from all of the other um, offerings outside, the ability to have kind of like a virtual SOC that you can connect to from your home um, using VPN. And once you VPN in, you have a virtual SOC right in front of you yep. uh, with everything completely set up 100%. Um, uh, thank you. Uh, just wanted to kind of um, elaborate on that a little bit because some of the people who are watching right now may not know what those tools are or they may be at the beginning of their career kind of or, or making that decision and it's not an easy decision uh, I, I'm sure yours wasn't easy um, uh, as well you're making a career change you're saying I'm gonna stop here put it I'm gonna start here <laughs> and then start again it's not an easy decision uh, I respect that so uh, can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing today? Like, uh, you don't need to tell us the, the name of the tools um, at a high level, um, just to keep the confidentiality. Um, if you can tell us about like what you do at it, like generally, and whether you're happy with the type of work you're doing and the way you see it, like from career growth perspective. Uh, so the main, the main job I do now at Prospecta is we manage the alerts that are co coming into the security tool. Um, it could be like last week it was 10 and it jumped to 80. Um, but CyberNow's helped me. Um, I mean, I came into the job day one knowing what I'm doing because of CyberNow. Um, the tools that I was using at, uh, that I'm using at Prospector are the exact same that I was using at CyberNow. 
So it wasn't going in saying, oh man, how do I do this? It was, oh, I know what to do here. I just, the only thing that was different was just knowing what their policies and stuff are and how to, how to take care of the alerts. But the tool itself, I, I was com completely familiar with, which really helped. Um, and the phishing part, so we get phishing emails um, and a part of the uh, uh, CyberNow hands-on is you go over the phishing um, emails and such and what to look for. So it's, that made it easier when we get these imposter emails um, to determine if it's phishing or not. So that, that's another thing that really helps, helps me out daily at Prospecta. And what do you see in terms of career grow, growth perspective? Um, do you see enough like opportunities for you in terms of um, a growth? Looking yeah. like five years, 10 years from now? Absolutely. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm already interested in threat hunting um, and I have some exposure uh, to that uh, thanks to you guys. Um, we have a, a great guy uh, with Perspecta, but unfortunately um, due to COVID, I can't really work with him, but um, the future is bright, absolutely, with all the experience that I got from you guys and, um, uh, you know, cybersecurity analyst now at, at a SOC, but um, hopefully once we get back to the office, I, threat hunting is, is where I want to go. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. And now the people who are going to be watching this are most, mostly, uh, again, people who, are, who haven't maybe uh, made that decision yet to change their careers. Um, and you've been there, you've done it, you've experienced the whole thing. Now you're working in cyber. What is kind of, is there any advice that you can give them around, you know, whether cyber is the right decision or, or not right field to go into or not? It, it, that all depends. Um, I mean, it's probably the, the best decision I've made in my career, um, especially with what's going on. I got out of healthcare, I went into cyber. Um, but with cyber, I think there's so much you can do. Like I said, threat hunting, you can do pen testing, you can do admin stuff, you can do HR. You, I mean, you can do so many different, same with kind of healthcare, um, but cyber is, a, it's, it, it's completely two different careers, but you have that flexibility to do so much in cyber and it's just, it's endless the opportunities. Yep. And one more thing about that, uh, well, two more things. One, the in general IT right nowadays with COVID-19, um, being able to work remotely is a huge awesome. luxury. Yeah. Um, I can work from home, I still have a job. Um, yep. that, that's number one. Number two, I've been in um, cyber together with my partner, uh, Omar, um, for about a decade uh, now. And there's still a lot of room for growth. I'm still studying, I'm still, thinking of um, some certifications that I should get or topics that I should kind of focus on and be an expert in. It's just never ending. And that's what really motivates me personally as well. Yep. Um, even, even after like 10 years, you're into it, you're at a, you know, a senior manager uh, position, there's still much more uh, to do. Um, and that's kind of what motivates me. Um, yeah. uh, well. Hackers find new ways to hack and we have to prevent that. So exactly. And we're glad we're thankful for that. They're always one step ahead of yep. us. So yep. We'll never be able to catch them. No. Um, <laughs> and that's why we have uh, all of these um, workforce gaps, cyber workforce gap, yep. uh, especially in the, uh, well, in the United States and across the world. And um, if, uh, especially in the DMV area, we're located in Virginia, right? The MV area is the number one hotspot for uh, yep. cyber, cyber, cyber jobs Absolutely. In, in the United States. Um, anything else you would like to add before we um, close it off? No, I think I'm, I mean, I pretty much said it all to the great course. Um, you get the best of three, you get your, um, uh, you go over the book, get you ready for the exam, you do the hands-on, get your experience, you put it all together in the resume and prep for those interviews and start applying. It, it's, Good to go. It's a great package. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot for your time. No problem. Uh, Thank you. You have a good one. Take care. Good to see you. Bye-bye.